and welcome to Hobbin 5, episode 23. This week's episode is brought to you by our executive producer, Jonathan W. Platt. There's actually no relation, but we're still very thankful for the support. So without any further delay, let's get right to this week's key Hobbit production news and the Wondering.net's top stories. Our background this week comes from Luke Aberhart. Keep sending in your backgrounds, and maybe one day you'll see yours on H5. Recently, Peter Jackson posted a Facebook note with exciting casting news. Evangeline Lilly, known for her role as Kate in the television series Lost, will play the role of a new character, the woodland elf Tariel. Jackson didn't go into much detail about her character, but insists that there will be no romantic connection to Legless. Barry Humphreys will play the Goblin King, similar to how Andy Serkis created Gollum. Jackson also commented that Welsh actor Luke Evans has been cast as Bard and Benedict Cumberbatch will, in fact, play the Dragon Smaug. Read the entire post on Peter Jackson's Facebook page for more information. I also want to mention that Larry Curtis's most recent article for Movies.com covers all the details of Peter Jackson's Facebook casting note. It's definitely worth reading, so go check it out now. Thanks to everyone who sent in pictures and comments about the extended edition screenings from the past few weeks. We have loved seeing what everyone has been up to. Pete shared his experience from a New York screening with a totally packed theater and a very fun crowd. And Nicholas sent us these very cool photos from New Orleans. If you want to share your experience, go post on our Facebook page. And remember, the Return of the King screening will take place this coming Tuesday, June 28th. So go get your tickets now. If you're in the LA area, or if you'll be in the area next week, there's definitely one event you will not want to miss. Warner Home Video announced Middle Earth Madness that will help celebrate the release of the Lord of the Rings Extended Edition on Blu-ray. The event will take place at the West LA Best Buy on June 27th, leading up to the midnight release. Join other fans for character lookalike contests with exciting prizes, themed giveaways, celebrity autograph signings, and tons more. Visit thewondering.net for all the information and see the list of incredible sponsors. The Lord of the Rings War in the North is sponsoring a giveaway with a huge prize, a trip to New Zealand and a visit to the Hobbiton movie set. All you have to do is enter your name and email address on their Facebook page. Make sure you submit your information before the deadline on July 27th. Visit their Facebook page now to see all the contest rules. And congrats to War in the North for being nominated in X-Play's Best Multiplayer of E3. We'll have to wait until December 14th, 2012 for the entire movie, but for now, Peter Jackson shared the first few pictures from The Hobbit. One of the pictures even shows Bilbo and the dwarves inside a bag end. I know you all want to see these pictures, so go check them out now on thewondering.net. In our character study this week, we'll take a look at Saruman, another wizard sent to help the people of Middle-earth in their quest against Sauron. He was appointed as the head of the White Council and had power over the minds of others. Saruman is one of the few characters in Middle-earth who is rather gray, serving neither the forces of good nor the forces of evil. He betrays both sides and ultimately works for his own ends. British actor Christopher Lee will reprise his role as Saruman in The Hobbit. Lee is known for his deep booming voice and is no doubt an amazing veteran actor. Lee became famous for his role as Count Dracula in the series of Hammer production horror movies. He also appeared in The Wicker Man, The Man with the Golden Gun, Star Wars Episodes 2 and 3, and of course, The Lord of the Rings trilogy. Lee has performed in 266 films since 1948, making him the Guinness Book world record holder for most film acting roles ever. He was knighted in 2009 and received the BAFTA Fellowship in 2011. That's it for this installment of Hobbit 5. I'm Rebecca Platt and thanks for watching. Thanks again to our executive producers over the past few weeks, and these are the t-shirts we'll be sending out. H5 is brought to you by your generous donations, so please visit our website, hobbin5.com, for more details. Until next time. It's like snap, crackle, and pop on crack. <laughs> <laughs>